You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Prince Renarit has passed away on the 28th of November in France at the age of 77. He was the second son of the late King Father Norodom Shianuk and was the half-brother of the current king. This Monday morning, Majesty King Norodom Siharmoni, King of the Kingdom of Cambodia and His Majesty Queen Mother of Cambodia paid their respects to the late Prince Ranarit at a royal ceremony at the Mortuary at Samdek Pan Street, Phnom Penh. EAC News reporter Yuri Matosko has the details. The body of Prince Norodom Ranarit has been escorted to the Mortuary House on Samdek Pan Dan Pen District in Phnom Penh. At the mortuary, a royal ceremony will be held with the presence of Majesty King Norodon Sihamoni and his mother, Majesty Queen Moninyat Sihanouk. Prince Ranared's remains has been brought from France into his home country last Sunday. On Monday, the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, has delivered his condolences to Majesty King Sihamoni, stating Prince Ranared was a close friend of the Chinese people, with the important role of enhancing relations between the two nations as an important member of the Cambodian royal family. In gratitude and to pay tribute to the late Prince Ranared, the royal government has designated Wednesday this week as a day of national mourning by requiring all ministries, institutions, schools, hospitals, public and private sectors, and civil servants, as well as all the armed forces, pagodas and people throughout the country to hoist the flag at half-mast. At the same time, all national and private radio and television stations must suspend their performances and broadcast various entertainment scenes in order to pay their respects to the late Prince.
Norodon Ranaret passed away at the age of 77 in France on 28 November. He was born on 2 January 1944 as the second son of Prince Norodon Sihanouk and his wife Pad Kanol. He was the first Prime Minister from 1993 to 1997 and the President of the National Assembly from 1998 to 26. Yuri Matosko, EAC News.